Okay, so we are here at the San Antonio bus station and with Sister Sharon. Sister Sharon is a member of the Interfaith Welcome Coalition, an organization that has been organized to help welcome refugees from Central America. And um, Sister Sharon is one of the people who has been meeting families at the San Antonio Greyhound bus station when one or two or three families are routinely dropped off here by ICE, right? But today, this is highly unusual. It's how many families here? Right now, there are extra 25 families that were not expected today. On a usual day, we do get up to 20 families okay. with, with some little ones. Okay, and so the families are have been have been dropped here, and and the difficulty is that there are no buses that are going anywhere. The buses are canceled now because of the storm. Because of the storm, and yesterday we did speak through Congressman Doggett's office with ICE and asked them not to do this, not to drop families not here, to bring specifically the families because because. because there's no buses. They're stranded. Anywhere. They're stranded. And to leave them here overnight in the bus station is against human rights. Absolutely. We don't want anything like this to happen to anybody. Absolutely. But thanks be to God, because the city of San Antonio and the county are receiving people. We believe that there will be a place for them to stay tonight until Sunday or Monday, whenever that happens to be. Whenever the buses get back again. Um, Oh my goodness. Okay, so hang on for hang on for some noise in the background there. But but what you just said was that that because of what happened at Christmas time and at Christmas time ICE ICE delivered five hundred families. Five hundred families. People right, right, five hundred people. Um to to the essentially to the Mennonite church. Um that that was where they dropped them, right? At that point. And and they were there for several several days waiting for ways to get to their families, right? Exactly. exactly. And and in anticipation of that we called. <laughs> anticipation we say please don't do this again to the city of San Antonio mm -hmm. and to these people right. who deserve better treatment. Right, right, right. And so all of these people, just to repeat, all of the people in here are from Carn City and Dilly. And Carn City and Dilly is where where um, they're detention centers. They're private prisons. For right? women and children. For women and children. And they're for-profit prisons. And, and when people come from Central America, from Honduras, El Salvador, and Guatemala, um, they are routinely, and they're coming here seeking asylum, they're routinely put into those private prisons. In these places. And, and then, yeah. and then they're asked by they're asked to show that they have an actual credible fear of being returned, that they're that's they really right. are legitimately seeking asylum, right? And that's how they are released now, uh, with some relative or sponsor who's bought the tickets for them. Gotcha. So, so all of these people have been the the the, 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 uh, the uh, immigration has determined that all of these people in here are credible asylum seekers, have a credible claim for asylum. So this is not just people who came in willy nilly. They have exactly. the determination has been made by immigration that these yes. people have a credible fear. Sure. Um, and they're fleeing some of the most deadly countries in yes. the world. Yes. And we just heard too that all of the people from Carn City are being transferred to Dili for their security at this point in time. Just because of the storm? That, because of the storm. Oh my. So the people who are at the detention facility in Carn City, City are being moved to the detention center in Delhi at this point. It, the detention center in Delhi, I can't remember what the what the capacity is. Um, it's it's pretty it's about large at this 2, point. 2400. And one of the women here this morning said that there were 1700 there. So they had room to receive the 500 from Carn City. So they have room for that because it's such a large private prison. Correct. Right. Correct. Right. Right. Correct. right. Yeah. So so they're moving those people for their own safety because of the storm and these 50 families were brought here against the request of Congressman Lloyd Doggett and and um, and now hopefully we'll have a place to go courtesy of the city of San Antonio or Bear County um, um, and can find a place to be. But it's a repeat of the other that we tried to prevent. A repeat of Christmas.
Absolutely. Um, and and one of the, the the biggest problem is that while they're routinely after they pass their credible fear test, they're routinely dropped at the Greyhound bus station in San Antonio. But today the buses are not going anywhere. That's correct. So bringing them here essentially strands them. Yes. And and how long have they been here? Uh, they arrived. One o'clock, two o'clock this afternoon. In buses? In buses from the different uh, places, yes. yes. Wow. Okay. So, so if um, we're live on Facebook, so you can say something to the San Antonio community. You can say something to to our congressman, um, <laughs> who, um, but. How does this make you feel about, I guess, immigration? That, that would do this? Well, I'm, I'm very angry that despite our plea for them not to do this, despite the plea of Congressman Doggett's office, that they still dropped off these women and children to basically just be left on their own in, in a bus station in the middle of a storm against all human rights. I know I'm grateful for the city of San Antonio that is opening their arms wide in hospitality as usual, saying, yes, we will receive whoever comes here. But I don't like it. I'm, I'm angry that ICE feels that they can do this against the human rights of these people who are our brothers and sisters. And mothers and children. Exactly. Mothers and children. Lots of children. God bless them all. Mm -hmm. Back again at with Nowcast SA at the Greyhound bus station, and where there were 50 families who were dropped at the Greyhound bus station, even after Congressman Lloyd Doggett's office called ICE and said, "Please don't do this," and these 50 families now have found a place where they can spend the weekend. When they were dropped at the Greyhound bus station. They're routinely dropped at the Greyhound bus station by ICE after they pass a credible fear test. These are all refugees, um, asylum-seeking refugees from Central America. And once they prove that they have a credible fear and can't return to their country, they're released to a sponsor in the United States. And they're routinely dropped at the Greyhound bus station in San Antonio to get on a bus and go be connected with their family or their sponsor here in the United States. But because of the storm, none of the buses are going anywhere today. So dropping people at the Greyhound bus station in San Antonio was the wrong thing to do. And in fact, Congressman Lloyd Doggett's office called ICE and said, please don't drop people at the Greyhound bus station because the buses aren't going anywhere. And ICE still dropped 50 families here 